Hi, everyone. Welcome to The Download. My name is Mike Duretta. With me always is my buddy, Joel Lowe. Joel, say hello. Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good Bienvenidos. Uh, so, Joel, you know, we're cut we're 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 getting back into it right where the COVID is is hopefully getting better hopefully this isn't in the future and you people are like no COVID's gotten worse right. um but hopefully it's gotten better uh and we wanted to talk today about going to conferences again right so uh you know that's starting back we got conference yeah. season started in the spring yep got another season coming up in the fall um because yep. nobody likes going to Vegas in the summer I will, but there are some good ones in the summertime in Vegas. There are. Um, so, Joel, what do you do at a conference? Oh, man, what do you not do? But, uh, what do you not do? A, a network, right? A okay. Conferences are set up. They are prime locations for networking. Absolutely. Right? Uh, there are like-minded people, right, in your same industry yep. who are there to learn, literally there to learn, make connections. Right. Hey, ask questions. Introduce yourself. Right. right. Uh, I love conferences. I'm a huge fan of conferences, not only yeah. for all the fun and activities that go on afterwards and during, um, yeah. but there's so many people, again, who are in your industry at different levels. Right. So uh, you got people just starting out. Uh, people who are interested in getting into the field. You got those who are mid level. And then you have those who've been doing it for a while. Right. Who, yeah. I mean, there's some who are changing the game and rock stars. Right. And you right. get to see that. I can remember going to a conference and saw the first time that they hacked into a car. <laughs> Yo, that is. And I mean, it's been years ago. And this is like yeah. right when the cars were getting a lot of technology in them and you could sync your phone to your playlist. And I was like, yo, that is cr like my mind was blown to watch yeah. them or like to see them eavesdrop into a Bluetooth. Right. Now, I remember that. And again, these are uh, years ago. Uh, but to see that that kind of thought process to be like, I can capture, you know, what's going on between your phone and right. you know your system. Right. Yeah. Or your headphones and, and eavesdrop blew my mind. Right. And, and you leave away just like, wow, I didn't know that was possible right? right um and that's what you want right you really yeah. want to go to a conference and really network right yeah uh go What's to new the out there what what are other people looking at what are people yeah. focusing on and right. yeah it's it's uh yeah so so networking i at least a third of my network contacts come from conferences yeah. in my linkedin profile at least yeah. a third yeah. um and and that's just because you getting out and meeting people and and hearing what there are you know um I learned early on in life that you don't change or get better as a human being unless you are challenged. Right? right. And so you listen to people that have an opposing point of view or, or something new or something different. And, and that forces you to grow, especially when you're in front of them, when you're on the internet, you're just, it's anonymous. You're like, yeah, whatever. You're a hack. Right. Um, but you know, when you're in front of them, you're listening to them and you're, you're hearing how passionate they are about things and how they're driving through it. You know, you're like, all right, maybe they're onto something. Maybe maybe I need to re-examine my viewpoint and, and go from there. Um, but yeah, meeting people is huge, right? And you had a good point about don't meet just people at your level or above right. you, right? Meet right. people below you because you don't know where your next hire might come from, right? Are you open to work? Uh, are you are you know what do you do? What do you what do you, what do you want to do? Right? right. We're, we, you know, I always ask people, you know, this isn't your last job. What do you want your next job to be, and how can I help you get there? Right. Um, right. So that's a and, good and point. Thing with, with that one is um, as a manager or, or a director or, you know, a CISO, you're, when you hire, you're hiring, you know, engineers, right? right? So if your whole network is full of managers and people at your level, then you have nobody to, to pull from, right? Right. So if you're at these conferences, you're meeting, you know, people who are got hands on keyboards and are doing the work. You get to spend time with them and they have no reason to lie to you because they're not interviewing with you, right? Right. So so you get to really meet them in a different setting, right? And get to talk with them and, and connect with them. And I'd always say stay stay connected with them if you meet good people, which you will. Yeah. Um, so that when you do have that job opening, it makes your life ten times easier to say, hey. I know somebody. Right. right. I mean, somebody, right. Let me hit them up real quick and see what's going on. There's not an HR person in this world that's not going to say, you're going to make my life easier. Oh, 
Leads. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Oh, we don't take leads. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. You know a good person that would actually do the job well and would stay with right. the company? No, we don't want that. You no, already I have somebody in mind? Mm, no, I don't I don't like that. Oh, yeah. No, no let's absolutely. Let's do it the hard way, right? Yeah. No. yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna put no this way. in the newspaper like my granddaddy did. Yeah, no, the we're not do that. Section, right? right? So, uh, no. And then here's another one. This is gonna blow your mind, right? Going to a conference, actually go to the sessions. Yeah. <gasps> That's crazy. Well, why would I sit there for hours on end, Joel? Like, just hey, they have different tracks. Most conferences, yeah. and find what works for you, or even go to something that doesn't work for you. Do something different. Yeah. I, right. How do you feel about the tracks? Like I, there are some times when I'm like, yes, I want to do everything in that track. But there are other times when I'm like, I don't want to feel like I'm pigeonholed in that track. So yeah. like I'm a governance, risk and compliance person right. for a fair majority of my, you know, that means like laws and, and mm -hmm. dealing with HIPAA and things like that. But I love technology. Right. Yeah. Like that really gets me excited. So like I, I sometimes I don't. What do you do? Do you stay in a track? Do you go? I, I don't. I jump around. Yeah. You jump right? around. So, so I will hit the track that I like the most. Right. Mm -hmm. I, if I like a track real well, I will hit one or two. Right. Yeah. And the only reason why is because I, I know that track. I kind of get it. Um, then I go to stuff that I'm like, yeah, I'm not a, a huge fan of this, but I need to learn it. Right. Right. And, right. and I'll go to that one to to pick up stuff. And and this yeah. is again, I always say as a presenter, or if you're in a um, in a session, I, I told you this in the green room, and you want to know if a presentation was good, right? There's going to be two questions that I ask, right? right. Ask two questions, right? Hey, can I get a copy of this presentation, right? right. And can I get a copy of the recording? Is it going right. to be recorded, right? Yeah. Those questions that I asked, then mm, either the presentation didn't have in it the information necessary or just didn't hit the mark and and, and not to say that's the the be all right measure but i just know i see that a lot at conferences that i or sessions i go to that are good that is yeah. usually the question right yeah no, um, that's a good point and you'll also hear a lot of don't be afraid to ask questions yeah. right so no matter what session i go into there's time at the end it should yeah. be for questions yeah. right if if a presenter doesn't save time for questions then I have a problem with the presenter. Right. right? Don't um, don't miss out on that opportunity to ask those questions. Right. Like, yeah. And as a presenter, as somebody who's been in that, I love the questions, right? Yeah. Because there's going to be one that gets me, right? And I always <laughs> love that. That is like, ooh, you know what? I never thought about that, right? I and, always, I always get the one guy who asks about passwords. Like, how do you feel about passwords? Like, dude, you're at every conference. How is that right. possible? Right. <laughs> just write down your answer and hold it up like yeah hey, right. i said last year right hey. yeah hey dave i remember you come on hey, stop come asking on. the same question oh i got yeah. you hey but my thing is uh i love the stump question right yeah. the one that i'm just like you know what i didn't think of that hey, i'm gonna get your information afterwards and, and figure that out yeah. uh what you don't do is fake it till you make it right no not not at a conference. Not not no. at a conference with SME, right? With Surrounded by subject matter experts. Yeah. They just yeah. No, don't, work don't try to just give a word salad, right? Because right. then everybody's like, oh, this dude's an idiot. Right. Wait, right. Wait, where did this guy what go? What in from? the world? Right. And then yeah. when they so one thing that happens, and this is something else I would say, dude, that we didn't talk about, is fill out the survey. Yeah. Like you, no. you're putting your time and energy into a conference. And if there's a great speaker, then you need to say, hey, this this guy was dynamic. He was excellent. I really like. And then there's somebody that you're like, yo, we could live without him. Then put it in the survey. Right. Because you want the conference to get better. Right. You want the I got to go ahead. I got to be honest with you. Six years ago, I, I, I presented at ISC Squared. I actually did three sessions at this ISC Squared. And okay. one of them was was purple teaming, red team and okay. blue teaming together, purple right. teaming. And like, it was one of the best presentations I'd ever given, right? Like it was just dyne electric. The room was just electrified. I, you know, and I had a great time. There was one dude in a hoodie <laughs> who had his hood pulled up over his head the whole time, head down. And he was like, I'm like, oh, this, is, this isn't going to end well. So I got all the surveys back from that session. I had like 90 surveys, which, right, which right. was crazy. There was, a, there were, there's probably three, 400 people in that room, but like a quarter of them filled out surveys, which is awesome. Right. That is awesome. Great, great surveys. One survey to this day bothers the hell out of me. 
<laughs> because the guy's like, I didn't think the guy was as technical as enough. I, I thought this was going to be a technical session. I'm like, it said in the description it wasn't going to be a technical set. Like, but yeah, it to, to this day it bothers me. Like, you can ask my wife. It just always one. It's just always one. It's just, just like for real, for yeah. real. Yeah. And, and it's okay. always the one that's like super smart. Like I, I've yeah. I've worked with some people that came in to explain some stuff to me, and I'm I'm pretty sharp, right? Sure. Like if you break it down for me, I, I can get it. And I was like, no, 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 you got to break that down. He's like, I just did. And I was like. Okay, right. Like, sure, uh, I've already done that. Right? You're just like, uh, okay. Well, I, there's the saying that if you cannot explain it to a third grader, then you right. don't own, you don't understand it well enough, right? Yes. So, right. Don't 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 beat yourself up too bad. Right. Some people right. are are some people can teach. Some people can't. I, I, right. You know, it that is, is what it is. So, is right. so so Joel, let's talk about what you. Sh oh, actually, you know what vendors. Um. So most most conferences are, are subsidized by vendors, right? Correct. So vendors pay a lot of money. Like I'm I'm not kidding you. Um, years ago, when I was on the other side of the table, uh, and we were buying buying vendor booth space, you know, those mm -hmm. vendor booth spaces are ten, twenty, fifty, a hundred and fifty thousand dollars for for a spot oh, yeah. in that conference room and okay. that conference center. Yeah. Talk to the vendors, right? Otherwise, they're not going to show up. Right. If, if they're not getting leads and everything else. And yes, they are there to sell you stuff. Right. But, you know, the other good thing is, is this is an opportunity to capture all of these vendors in one space. Mm -hmm. Right. So we were at Gartner uh, a couple months ago, Joe, Joe, uh, Joe Bro and I, uh, and we went around and we were looking for a couple of different types of vendors. It's secure email gateway vendors. You know, mm -hmm. what is everybody doing? What is what what else is out there? Right. So like, you know. You know the big the big names and stuff like that, but who else is new? What right. what's their new trick? Get out and see stuff, right? At the end of the day, you're like, that's a good trick. Maybe it's not where I need it to be from a right. maturity standpoint, but I'm gonna keep my eye on that vendor. Maybe I won't buy them this round, but three years when I'm starting to look for maybe another uh vendor, maybe I'll come back around and look at that vendor. Um, I, I even have another one with the vendor is um one thing about about salespeople for vendors. Is they mm -hmm. move around, yeah, right, yeah. So find you if you find a good, cool salesperson, right, at the vendor that you helpful. connect with, right. That's yeah. very helpful, smart, understands. Like, look, I'm not trying to push this on you. I get where you're at. Um, connect with them because eventually yeah. they may go to another company that you're like, yo, I I need that, right. right. Keep in touch right. with them. Hey, if you're right. ever in in my area, hit me up. They will, right. right? Yeah. Understanding that, like, right now I don't need this product. We we have something. We got a new contract. So I got three years into this, but you know, eventually when I come around, you know, we can talk about it, right? Right. Those relationships there are always good, right? Yeah. They're always good because when they move to a new company, you're the first person they call. Hey, man, I'm at this new company. I want you to take a look at it for me. Let's talk. Yeah. And it, it could be something that truly helps you out, right? Yeah. Wasn't even on your radar, and the only reason why you know about it is because they're in your network, right? right. So, yeah. so please keep in touch with people. Be genuine. Yeah. Um, and not. Let's talk about what not to do. Yeah, what not to do. Drink. Don't drink like a fish. Don't do not do that. Don't be that one person who's uh, slowly spinning in the dancing hall by yes. themselves with no music on. Don't don't be that person. That's yeah. starters. That's yeah. that's table stakes. Just don't come in and, and get wrecked. Right, right. Don't do not do that. Right? Don't do that. How, how about don't miss the sessions, right? Yeah. Yeah. You, you and I talked about this. There, there's some people you go to conferences and you're like, Every time I walk from session to session, it's the same group of people just hanging out. And you're like, "Are you are you going to sessions? Are you doing stuff? Are you are you taking advantage of this?" Yeah, I, I agree. Go to sessions. Even you don't have to go to every session. Like Gartner was like 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day for four days. It was crazy. It was good content. Um, it's hard. It's hard to sit there for that long and just and get work done. And and you know you got to check email. At some point, you know, so, but yeah, go to sessions. What's your tip on that? Hey, so, so my thing is not only go to sessions, but I'd also say if you can disconnect, right? So yeah, that's um, a good point. It's hard, right? You, you, you got your emails right there. You want to make sure you stay on top of things, but like I would check emails in the morning mm -hmm. and then I'll check emails at night, right? Yeah. And unless, unless the world is on fire in yeah. the middle, I would dedicate that to you know, just enjoying the conference and really set your out of office. Right. So my thing is 
uh, and you have to set those boundaries, right? So mm-hmm. if your company knows that even though you're at a conference, I can just I can just ping you and you're gonna respond, then they're gonna keep doing it, right? Right. But if you let them know, like, hey, I check my email in the morning, and then before I go to that dinner, that vendor dinner, right? I'm going I'm going to go in my room, freshen up, and check my emails, right? And I can respond to anything you have or, or need me to then. Again, unless it's an emergency. Um, yeah, and then even then, if it's an emergency or if it's something where it's not an emergency and they got to continue to keep uh, pinging you and calling you every day, maybe you need to renegotiate your money, right? Because you're clearly a key person, right? Well, and, and and as a manager, right? Like, don't bother your employees, right? right. You, you paid good money to send that person to that conference. Right. You're paying for them for the day work, not, not at the office, right. you're paying for them to attend the conference, you're paying right. for meals, gas, whatever, lodging, let them focus, right? Get something out of that people. And, and like, I, I was thinking if you grow at a job and you, and you, you, you're challenged appropriately, you're going to stay. Right. And if you, if you're going to stay and if they feel like you're just bothering them just to bother them or like, you know, the world. So the other thing is like, you also don't want somebody to feel like the world can't exist without them. Right. right. Like, Oh, they're reaching out to me because I'm I'm necessary. Because then you're yeah. just gonna get that other poison side of a right, of an right. employee. But yeah, just let let them focus on it, and and um, you'll get done with it. Unless it's an emergency, you know, let them get done. Um, what's the next one, Joel? We and this is the antithesis of of our first point, right? right? Hey, so make sure you talk to people, right? So don't yeah. not talk to people, right? Yeah, don't not don't, talk to don't people. Don't just be walking in the session, sitting down and then getting up and going out. And there's a lot of people that do that and never meet anybody. Yeah. Right? And, and I think, I just think you're missing out on, yeah. again, a, a great opportunity to meet like-minded folks, right? Yeah. Um, who are cool and different, right? So never once let that go by, right? Yeah. And, and at some of these conferences I go to, you just never know. Like I've seen people who look like they're somebody's grandmother and they're like a top hacker, right? And you're just like, what in the world? I've seen people who had more piercings and holes and yeah, it, but they're cool as can be, right? Yeah. Like you have a conversation with them, they're, they're so down to earth and so cool, but you can yeah. never judge a book, book by its cover, right? Oh yeah. 100%, yeah. Right? You go to no, yeah. you never know. Um, there's some people that come and they have a suit on every day, right? And then there's somebody come in with jeans and a t-shirt, right? So. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that, right? Talk to everybody, right? Yeah, yeah. I, and I, what I and to to kind of cap on that is um, talk to different people, right? Don't just keep talking to the same people. Obviously, catch up with the people that you've met at previous right. conferences or that you know, or like, hey, I I haven't seen you in forever. You know, absolutely. You know, right. reconnect with people, but meet different people too, right? Like make make sure and and I I do this when I'm a speaker. I I take two minutes or three minutes in the beginning or the end of the session and say, look, get something else out of this besides my presentation, you know, take two minutes, meet the person on either side of you, behind you, in front of you, just shake hands with them, meet with them and, and introduce yourself. Cause at the end of the day, that's the value in this is right. to your point, meeting people of, of like-mindedness or, or maybe in the same career path or same job or same level or have gone through something or will be going through something and be helpful and useful. Yeah, or, or don't even, talk to different people. Right. Or even after the presentation, go talk. Some of some of the best conversations yeah. are after the presentation. Right. With and even speaker. if you're not yeah. you're the speaker, right? So even if if you don't have a question, there's usually somebody up there asking something and you can just listen. Right. right. So I, I've literally went up and just listened to the conversation after he presented. Um, because it was so good. And I was like, yeah. yo, so somebody's asking a question about something more in depth and I just wanted to hear it. Right. right. Um, right. so much to learn and then get their contact information. Yeah. Right. Hey, love to keep in touch with you. Hey, I'm sometimes in the Houston area, blah, blah. Yeah. yeah let's get up. Hey, that's not a problem or blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah. Network, network with the presenters or the speakers. Right. They're there to learn as well. Right. 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 Yeah. No, no. So definitely get contact information. Um, so cause we're a cybersecurity channel, you know, let's talk real quick about top five conferences that you like and that I like, and we'll go from there. What, what's a, what, if, if money was no object and time Ooh. was no object. Ooh. Yeah. 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 Which conferences would you go to? Because I, I don't go to five every year. Like no. I, just, I don't have time. But I if you, if you had to, what, what's your ranking and your stacking and why? 
so I don't know if I, I would rank it per se, but I like Hacker Camp. And I call Hacker Camp uh, the the summer of, you know, DEF CON, mm-hmm. uh, B-Sides, and mm-hmm. um, what's the other one? Uh, DEF CON. Black Hat. Uh, Black, but Hat. Black Hat, yeah. Black, Black, Black Hat's kind of commercial, right. Yeah. Um, but again, it's the networking. Right. And yes. each one of them has a different level as they drop down when it comes to, you know, technical level and, and what's going on. Right. Um, but usually the, the hottest and greatest. But from a like industry policy tools, thinking like RSA is it's a beast. Yeah. RSA, RSA is is a beast. It's a lot of information. It's a lot of people. Uh, you talking about getting overwhelmed quickly. Uh, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. And that's that's in June in San Francisco at the right. Moscona Center. Right. So, so that one yeah. can be something else. I mean, Gartner's another good one, right? Yeah, I, I like Gartner. Gartner's so Gartner Security and Risk is here on the East Coast in DC at the National mm-hmm. Harbor, usually in June. This year, unfortunately, it was the same week as RSA. Right. Um, so people kind of split between the two. It's a much smaller conference. Yeah. Um, you get much more intimate. Uh, it's brought to you by Gartner. So you're going to get Gartner people, which Gartner usually hires a quality of, of people that, and, and, and has them talk and things like that. Um, I, I, I don't think there was a session that I was like, I'm not getting anything valuable out of this. I got up and walked. There wasn't a single session. I got up and walked out of midway. So I, I, I like that. The people were good. Yeah. Yeah. Always good. And and the thing is, uh, when you go to a conference, there's a lot of good people at the conference. Um, Yeah. Always good, right? And a lot yeah. of good entertainment, a lot of good fun. Um, and then local, right? In if you're in a, a metropolitan city, right, there there's gonna be a local conference of some yeah. sort. Oh right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Nysaka, ISC squared yeah. after conference. Yeah. I, I would say go to that, right? Yeah. Um, because then you get to meet people in your industry, right, in your location. Right. Um, and, and you never know how they can help you, right? Yeah. With the networking tips that we already gave you. Because somebody may hit you up and say, Hey man, I got a job that uh i'm leaving do you want to fill it like i think right. you'd be great i'll put you in for it right. uh, which is always helpful right? right so and that's all from your network so to me yeah. that, that's kind of where i'm at like definitely make sure you go to work right yeah so and, and like i i live in richmond there's there's rva sec which is you know uh risk-based security uh jake coons does a great job of, of putting that on uh every summer um b-sides you know we talked a little bit about schmook on if you can get a ticket to schmook on it's awesome yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in DC. Yeah. Um, but yeah, again, to your point, network, right? Network locally, network globally, network around. You just, you never know. It's it's helpful to have these different points of views from people. Um, you and know, you never know. I, go to, I go to different locations for their local, right? Yeah. So Osaka has one in Atlanta. I may go to the one in Atlanta, yeah. right? Just because I want to network there, right? Yeah. Um, and meet people in that industry there. Absolutely. Right? Because it's good to, to know different people. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Or in Florida, right? And so it just depends on where you where you are. DC is always good. I mean, yeah. it's yeah. a lot of good people, a lot of great opportunities in DC. Right? Absolutely. So Absolutely. It just depends where, what you want to do um, and what you're looking for. And now my mm-hmm. favorite part of our takeaways. podcast, takeaways. Takeaways. Right? All right. So kick us off, Joel. So uh be social, right? A get out of your comfort zone, uh, meet people, introduce yourself. Um, you're standing in line to get in the venue, uh, talk with somebody, right? Yeah. You're standing in line to register, talk to somebody. Even yeah. I've met people trying to figure out where to go register. The, yeah. the funniest thing is like, hey, man, are you here for the conference? Yeah, I am too. Hey, how do you get there? I'm not sure where you're out, right? Hey, where are we going? Yeah. Like, I'm just, I think it's over this way. And literally, that's how I've met some some cool people yeah. is we both lost. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Uh, so take every opportunity to, to get to meet people. Right. Yeah. Get out of your comfort zone. Get you know right. it. And t- I think you said it earlier, or maybe you said it in the green room, but you know, you, not everybody's comfortable meeting pe- new people for the first time. You know, not right. everybody's a social. It gets easier with practice, right? Yeah. I'm, you know, and and Joel is does a wonderful way of of making people feel welcome. If you haven't picked up on that, Joel Joel does sure. a great job of that. Uh, <clears throat> he's a smoothie. He's a smoothie. But uh, but you know, it get out of your comfort zone, right? right. You're these people don't know you. You know, just be who you want to be, be who you are, be authentic. 
you know, have have who you are practice, right? Hey, I'm Mike Doretto. I'm the executive director of blah, blah, blah. You know, I, I, uh, I'm, my focus is really on cybersecurity on, on the technical side, but I like the GRC side, right? And just have that prepared because people are like, oh, what do you do? Just, and if you just have it prepared, don't lick it sound like you're reading from a script. Right, right, right. Just practice it and everything else so that you can introduce yourself. Um, yeah, I think that's a great thing. And, and you never know who you're going to meet who you're going to see again at the next conference, who, who's going to be important to you in your future, who you can help out, right? Because it's not always about what you get out of it, right. but what you can help somebody else out with in the future. And, and uh, you know, it's not easy. And sometimes it's just, you got to be the first person to put your hand out, right? You have to sometimes. So right. um, what's the next one, Joel? Hey, learn something. Absolutely. This service to everybody, to yourself, yeah. your company, even to the conference. To yeah. not walk away at least learning one thing, right? Yeah. One thing and have met one person, right? Like right. Those, those things, learn something. Go to the yeah. sessions to learn, right? And the thing about it is you talked about how like when you come back, you usually give like an overview of the conference and there's no leader or um, team that doesn't want to hear real quick. Hey guys, I was gone for a week. Let me tell you what, what I learned, right? Yeah. What did I get out of it? I spent we'll, we'll, company money. What did I get yeah. out of it? And, and now when you ask for that next conference, nobody's saying, well, I don't know what you got out of the first one. Right? What was like, the value out of that? Right. Well, well no, it's it's like, a presentation. Oh, no, no. Okay, good. Yeah. Cool. Hey, hey, guys, I also brought some notes back. I know we're looking at this new implementation of cloud for this certain sector. Hey, they've talked completely Very about it there. Here, yeah. here's the presentation in that. Hey, John, I know you, you would probably want to read through that. John's not going to be like, no, I don't want to read that. Like, right. I'm going to figure it out myself. It's always going to be, thank you, Joel. And I talked to the presenter and I told him that you might be calling. So, hey, I got his information for you. Yeah. Those, Let me do an introduction. Tips, right. Yeah. Those, those are things that every company is like, and hey, you just save us time and energy, right, by going to this conference and meeting somebody who's already done the work, right, that can help us navigate the pitfalls. Invaluable. Yeah. And, Invaluable. And last um, but not least, follow up. So, if you meet somebody, reach out to them afterwards, right? Tell them that it was nice meeting them. You look mm. forward to engaging with them in the future. Yeah. You know, this, Hey, did, did, did you, it was great talking to you about this. Did you ever find out about, did you ever go to that session? Did you ever figure that out? Just mm. keep it going. Don't, don't just meet somebody and move on, right? Just meet somebody, keep it going. It's hard. It's difficult um, to maintain. You don't have to, you know, we're not talking pen pals every day, Right. But but at the very least, keep up those connections. Right. right. You, you put that energy and effort into meeting that person and you just never know when somebody needs help or when you may need help or something like that. Um, just put it out there and just keep it going. You put the energy to start it, put the energy to continue it. It's so much easier to continue the relationship than it is to keep making new relationships. Right. right. And, and my thing, too, is uh, we talked about this in an earlier episode about um, when I'm going to a conference, I'll put it out there. Hey, I'm about next week. I will be at, you know, such yeah. such conference. Can't wait to network and, and see what's going on out there. Uh, let me know if you're out there. We can touch bases. And so right. many vendors like, hey, Joel. And I get that now. Even yeah. with uh, conference. Hey, Joel, are you going to be out at such and such? I'm not. Right. Yeah. Oh, I was going to try to catch it. Or, yeah, I am. Hey, Joel, I got to carve out some time so we can get up. Right. Yeah. No problem. We can definitely yeah. do or with with people in my network who are like, hey, my company's sending me there too, Joel. Hey, when, when are you getting in? I'm getting in there this time. Okay, well, let's touch base. Right, yeah. we'll get shit together. Catch uh, up for coffee or yeah, right. have breakfast or something. And the thing is, it's so cool to sit down with people who want nothing from you, just want to yeah. chop it up, right? With oh yeah, not, yeah. Oh, how did y'all handle that that vulnerability there? How did you yeah. handle this new wave of this? Oh man, it was crazy. We had to do this, this, and you get to hear what other people did. Um, which is so, so much and catching up, right? Yeah. Um, it's, and you're not there alone, right? So right. you go by yourself, but you're there with so many people that you network with. And you get to meet new people because they'll tell you, hey, I, have you met him? Come right. here, let me introduce you to him. Yeah, yeah. And it's somebody super cool that you did not know that you just now met with, right? That's yeah, it's amazing. You, right? It's awesome. Yeah, but it, you it, can only do it if you put yourself out there. Right. Oh. I've been invited to gatherings, meetings, network sessions that are, are separate from the event, all because of somebody I knew. Right. right. So, so Mike, you, you get invited. Right. I know you and you're like, Joe, hey, man, come with me to this. You, you'll like it. Right. It's a special little yeah. intimate gathering. And you get there and it's like top wig people or, or right. smart people who break into things that you're like, oh, my God, I heard about this guy. 
Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I'm standing right here with, you know, yeah. who is yeah. super smart, right? Right. No, just it's fun way. stuff. It's fun right. stuff. But yeah, conferences are, are great. It's not just a place just to hang out and screw around and do stuff. Do stuff, learn stuff, meet people, right. bring stuff back, right? Bring Bring that experience, bring that knowledge back. You know, make sure that the company knows it was a good investment. That your yeah, yeah. employees and team members and peers know that you weren't there screwing around. You, you yeah. had, you, you, yeah, you could say you had a good time, but you know, uh, uh, pick up the free swag too. I don't think we talked about that. Vendors don't like carrying that stuff. I know when yeah, I was a vendor, baby. I don't like bringing it home. Yes. And There's uh, so much good free swag. <laughs> and just and give, go, give, give go it, give it to the your kids. Oh, yeah. the last day, but when the vendors are leaving, they don't oh. want to ship it back. Yeah. So if you saw something that she was like, oh, I really like that, right? Uh, the last thing you can go back to him, like, yo, can I get a couple of those? And then give them to your teammates in your first meeting. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, pass them out. Hey, Free stuff. let me get this. Oh, it's the best thing. I remember when uh, remote chargers mm -hmm. were the thing. Like, you, you find them everywhere now. But yeah, yeah. that was like a, one of those covered things. You're like, oh. And I'd get yeah. like four or five of those and hand them out. Oh, it's a superstar. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. oh, it's the best yeah. thing ever. Stupid stuff. I had gliders. Little like the member of the balsa wood gliders. And yeah, like that. Yeah. People were like, I love these things. So like bring them home to their kids. Oh yeah. Grab the, grab the free yo -yo. stuff. Right? Yeah. Yo-yos. Yo-yos. And people were just walking around the office with yo-yos. Yeah. Like, Bluetooth yeah. speakers. Oh yeah. yeah. Great, great. Like small little Bluetooth speakers. Yeah. Like, oh, you gotta love it. You but, gotta yeah. love it. Man. Yeah. So just, just have fun, but also bring something back and, and everything else. Yeah. All right. Joel, any closing thoughts before we wrap this up? Knowing is half the battle. GI yeah. Joe, right? Learning. Learning is the other half, right? Knowing yes. and learning. No. Uh, but yeah. Hey, see, thanks everybody for joining us today. If you like the content, please hit the like. Um, and if you want to stay in touch with us, hit the subscribe button. We try to put new content right. out every week. Um, if you have any suggestions on things you want us to cover, please let us know. Uh, Joel and I always kind of kick around ideas before in the green room and and uh, come up with something that that uh, is hopefully delightful and fun. Uh, <laughs> but if you want to know something or, or have an idea, just let us know in the comments below. Uh, yep. And we love talking to you guys. All right. Thank you so much for joining us.